the guy who runs uh, the Mayweather Boxing Club, Cornelius Bozo Edwards. He actually was born in Uganda, okay. but he got adopted by a British fella. That's why his last name is Edwards. Okay. And he won his first world championship in England. Okay. He grew up in London. And he went in the beginning of the 80s into America, Las uh -huh. Vegas. Yeah. Um, and he was one of the first, like, properly televised fights in the States. Because back then, they used to be like, oh, in right after the 6 p.m. news, here is a fight. So he was one of them. But anyway, he, I thought, oh, I was still in that state of mind where I'm like, oh, another black fellow like me. But he's also from Uganda, and I'm sure he will understand, and he will let me. But Bozo was like, man, in the world, it's your work that sells you. You have to be you. Yeah. But he was like, listen, go ahead and get down to Vegas. And I'm like, I went on his word. He's like, but Moses, I can't promise you anything. You come out here, you have to work. Yeah. You know, it's your work that will put you on. So I went over and there were old friends, Cornelius Boza Edwards and uh, Roger Mayweather, were old friends and they did everything together. They actually hold pads like the yeah. same way. You know, all that, you yeah. know, that yeah. you see Floyd do all that stuff. And, you know, Cornelius Boza Edwards was a matchmaker for Top Rank. Okay. And he's one of the reasons how Mayweather yeah, ended up on the yeah. Top Rank roster. Yeah. And he used to drive him places before Mayweather was. So, in because I had moved over for him, but I still had to do my work and still go into the gym, he would take me to all these places. But one of the places he took me most, and I did most of my work, was Top Rank. Uh -huh. And, of course, Floyd was there, and he used to come in with all his people, and Roger was there. So, because I was there because of... Because you have to be taken by some kind of trainer. Uh -huh. uh, because Cornelius Boza Edwards was always bringing me to the gym, every time he wasn't there, he would ask Roger Mayweather to take care of me and hold pads uh -huh. for me and that kind of yeah. stuff. So, and he, oh, Roger is uh, a character. He just like making jokes of, like, you know, any weakness that he would get out of you, he's like, oh, no. The Mandinka warrior is here. He would just call me all these African names, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, okay, let's put you through your faces. But, you know, he always, uh, and every once in a while when I was in England, and obviously people did that look, when I told them I knew either Cornelius Boza, Edwards, or Roger Mayweather, they're like, no. They're like, because I know Roger Mayweather. Okay. But, see, because they knew, the, you know, Roger, they would call him. And actually, be like, you know, it's one of those Disbelief. moments where they were like, oh, Roger, do you know Moses? They're like, yeah. He's a Mandinka warrior over there. And then, you know, they'll put him on the phone and they were like, and they're like, well, I have to make sure. Because a lot of people say a lot of things. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, did you think I was lying? Yeah. Not only is it laid back here, but you know, people are so welcoming, you yeah. know, and, and it's not in a way where Because even in some communities in a place where you would not think it would happen You know, you would you would get some places because we used to travel with the uh, Boxing teams uh -huh. and you know, you would still get some places in America where It's almost like They were not used to black folk, like they, they would properly stare now obviously there is a reverse of that I should be careful because yeah, yeah. when we visit Africa, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, all the black kids yeah. will be chasing you. Yeah. You know, white yeah. person, white yeah. person, they just want to touch you. But you know, there were places like that in, in the States where you yeah. would go and it's almost like the kids would be like, yeah. but you don't get that here. No. But then again, it maybe goes into what you're talking about, yeah. uh, into the fabric of the society, which is kind of like, oh, we like different. Like different. So, so you don't really get people like staring no. at you or no. asking weird questions. It's like, oh, you know. But then you move here and you kind of stick out. Which is obviously, you yeah. know, you know Check that's the thing. obvious thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, not in a way that bothers me. It's cause I think when you are you, it makes what? it easier what? not only what? for you, but for everybody around you. Yeah, true. Yes, yeah. when you were you, you know, like, you know, obviously, it could have gone a 
a lot of waste with the fellas asking me yeah. to take a selfie yeah. because obviously I was looking at it going like but you know the only way I could go back to it was like you know it's kind of silly I see you guys riding the bikes all the time I've never asked you for selfie I see you too but they're like no 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 but I think it would be great what was like well, you know yeah yeah you know what I mean but I could have been like, oh, they're just picking on me because I'm different. But yeah. I'm like, you know, no, I mean, no. whatever, whatever floats, they're the person's vote. But then again, obviously, I, not only did I stick up because I was the black fella yeah. running, yeah. I was running with weights all the time they see me. I think that's kind of, yeah. That, that's, <laughs> for lack of a better word, it, not only is it crazy, it's really different. Yeah. You're like, you, yeah. you would not believe this guy. Because yeah. he was like, can we get the weights into the photo too? Because okay. no one is going to believe me when I tell them. Yeah. Which is like the thing I told yeah. you. You have to be you. Because then, if it was anybody else, think it's crazy. But it's yeah. Moses. Huh? He's like yeah. that. <laughs>